What's going on? Uh, so this is uh, another video I'm trying to keep up. Basically, um, I'm trying to change. So that's basically what I'm trying to do. I'm definitely documenting exactly all my change and my progression through those change. Just at least to show a timeline and some accountability to myself about what exactly has transpired. And basically what I'm trying to do is go on this journey to make a better me, a better self of myself, you know, as stupid as that sounds. But this is my journey. These are the things that I'm trying to change. And, you know, I've definitely been inspired by watching other people's videos where they attempt to do the same, the stories that they're able to tell. And, you know, basically the motivation they're able to give to other people by, you know, sharing that experience so that other people's, other people can watch it and also experience it from their own lens. So for me, this is the documentation of my journey. I've definitely been uh, trying pretty hard the last two weeks. As of right now, I don't say that there's anything that I shouldn't be proud of, but I would say that I'm not as proud as I want to be. Maybe I'm holding too high a standard for myself in order to meet my goals. But as it stands right now, um, it's a Monday, Monday night. It usually should be the first night of my week where I'm basically showing more progress and continuing forward on this journey that I'm trying to set for myself. I did have a little setback, so not necessarily making as much forward progress as I had hoped. I'm not going to necessarily also let that hold me back, but I'm you know, need to express that, document that, that there is a setback. I'm going to progress through this and I'm gonna continue on and persevere. So I don't have as much things to update right now as far as accomplishments and goal settings and things that I have achieved, but I do have more videos that I have planned. I need to get to working on those videos there are a lot more things that need to happen in conjunction with each other as far as a timeline goes for everything to go according to a plan of what's up here, which is my biggest, biggest issue. You know, like you could even quote from Joe Rogan, like analysis paralysis. If you overanalyze, then you're going to paralyze yourself. And my personality trait is to overanalyze. So I do paralyze myself in a lot of ways. And that helps me to procrastinate. Um, there's a great TED Talk video where this gentleman explains the um, how procrastination works. And a summary is kind of about like... When you're in school, you have a deadline for things. And when you have a deadline for things, it's easy to procrastinate to the night before and then do something. But then as soon as you get into the real life and you don't set real expectations for yourself and real deadlines for yourself in your personal life, it's very easy to procrastinate forever because you never have that fight or flight moment where you're like, this is due, this needs to be done by tomorrow. Otherwise, you know, we're in a real bad spot, you know? There's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> you know, that's the worst. You know, it's the biggest downfall, I would assume, for a lot of people. Something sounds too hard. They don't want to put enough work into it. They have already put a, a, a crap ton of work into working for an employer. So they don't feel like working for themselves because that's what they need to do to either, you know, have a full-time job outside of work just to find a different job or you have a full-time job outside of work doing what you love so that you can make that your main job and these are things that i struggle with just like anybody else and i'm still struggling with them but any little bit that could help explain to somebody else uh, you know hearing it from another person the funny thing is i i kind of work in a customer service industry 
and when you know the customer hears from me and I'm knowledgeable and explain the exact situation to them sometimes they'll be like I you know I, I'm done talking to you where's your manager and then the manager gets on and they may know even less than I do surrounding the situation technical attributes to the situation a number of different things they could know less on but they have that voice where it's kind of like oh well hey yeah i mean this is a situation we want to let you know that we're working hard on it and we're going to get to it as soon as possible and basically it's not even always about the tone of voice or how they talk to them it's just hearing it from a different person and thinking that they're getting somewhere you know it's a it's all psychological kind of like the way a, a placebo works you know some people can get the medication some people could be told they're getting the medication and then the placebo makes it seem like they're getting medication it's really nutty but um you know i don't really want to just sit here and ramble on a bunch of different topics I literally wanted to record a video and, and there are people that are better at setting up the video you know cutting their videos and getting everything out there that's something that I want to get to you know creating a story and a timeline uh, of engagement throughout the entirety of the video and you know I had watched somebody like four years ago in regards to that they were gonna change their life within the next year I think they made it like six videos and you know I was kind of like motivated from what they were showing and I just kind of stumbled back upon it just now and realized it was four years ago so I, I I've been like thinking about executing on these types of things creating videos executing on some of the more future videos that I have planned for myself based on things that I'm trying to accomplish in my life and I've succumbed to the analysis paralysis where, you know, oh, you're going to start a YouTube channel. Just never do it because you're, you're watching, researching too much. You're analyzing, overanalyzing. You need to be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. You know, I'm not going to come out with a banger the first day. That's just not going to happen. And I need to accept that and I need to go through the process. And, and, and like Gary V says, it's all about the journey, you know. The journey, if you don't enjoy the journey getting there, then what what are you really after? Then maybe I'm after dollars and cents. Maybe I'm after, like, fortune and fame. What do I know? I, I don't really know. Uh, to be honest with myself, I really want to be happy. The biggest thing that I'm after is happiness. I've seen so many people, you know, with lots of things or not very many things and the biggest thing is like when you just come across somebody that's content and just happy as can be you know you could have experienced more things like if you saw someone from a small town but you've been to a city and you can see the amount of opportunity and the things that they've never seen and this person never wants to leave their town see the world is very content just being who they are i mean if you <laughs> capture that bottle it up and sell it i think you've got a billion dollar product because that's what most people want is probably just happiness being able to feel happiness and experience that while letting go of all of the other insecurities and all of the other needs as opposed or all the other wants you know as opposed to the needs you know maybe we need all need to breathe oxygen you know we could want like 11 room house million dollar house multi-million dollar house we could want you know a uh, ferrari or a lamborghini or a rolls royce we could want you know so many things that we don't really need and i'm trying to humble myself to the point where I can find happiness. I believe that it's possible. I believe that there's a purpose so that I can continue, continue on without getting let down, getting disappointed, and just achieve fulfilling a reason for being here. And that's really 
the big thing that I'm after. I realize I'm rambling. This video has no point. So I will see everybody tomorrow. Well, I'll see myself tomorrow.